So let's now turn our attention to the structure and functionality of the bridge pattern. And as you'll see, this is the stuff you would learn about if you read the Gang of Four book, which I highly recommend you do. The intent of this pattern is to separate an abstraction from its implementation so that the two can vary independently. And a couple things to note, you can have multiple implementations, there could be a plurality of them, and both the abstraction and the implementations can vary. So it's not just the implementations that vary, but both of them could vary. Now in practice, they don't always vary. Sometimes the abstraction stays the same and the implementation varies, but the point is that the pattern anticipates you could have them both vary. And as you can see here, what the expression tree does in our case study is it encapsulates the composite. So expression tree is the abstraction role from the bridge pattern that's used to separate that interface from the implementations that are provided by the composite. When would you apply this pattern, you might ask? Well, when the abstraction and the implementations can vary independently. That's basically the deal. If they never vary, you don't need this pattern. If there's only ever one way to do things, it's overkill. But oftentimes there are multiple ways to do things. So here we can see that the expression tree service can be refined without affecting the clients. And there's also a reason to apply this pattern when you need to change the implementer hierarchy or hierarchies at design time or runtime without breaking the client code. So we want to be able to plug in different elements without changing anything that the clients have come to know and love. Now, some of this may seem a little bit abstract until I show you the examples of how to use this, and then it'll become a lot more clear. And notice how we can also use this pattern to abstract away from the representation details of the underlying composite structure itself. So maybe we have one implementation where the component binary node inherits from composite unary node. Maybe we have a different implementation where composite binary node inherits from component node. You would be surprised at how much people argue strenuously whether you should do this or this. This is a, a time-honored argument in computing circles, whether or not you should have a composite binary node that inherits from the composite unary node or from the component node. Um, it's like a parlor game. People love to debate this and get all worked up. Here's the bottom line. If you use the bridge pattern, you don't care which way it works because it doesn't matter. It's not being exposed to clients. So this is a great other benefit of patterns. They help to eliminate the need for pointless arguments about things that don't really matter by providing enough levels of abstraction to shield you from any of those representational details. This is what the pattern looks like from a structure and participant point of view. This is what you find in the Gang of Four book. We have an abstraction, which is what the client sees. In our example, it's the expression tree class. We have an implementer superclass or the base class, which in our world is the component node abstract base class. We have this connection between the abstraction and the implementation, which is typically a reference or a pointer or a smart pointer, so that when methods are called in the abstraction, they forward over to the implementer hierarchy. That's the bridge. We then have some concrete implementer classes, which refine the implementer superclass. These would be leaf node, composite add node, composite subtract node, and so on in our expression tree case study. And then we also have this thing called the refined abstraction, which could be things like a synchronized expression tree or an instrumented expression tree and so on and so forth. I think I mentioned before, a lot of uses of bridge don't actually refine the abstraction, just leaves it as is. Still perfectly valid bridge, but Bridge opens up the possibility to refine the abstraction, even if it doesn't do it in any given realization.